Here we are again, ladies and gentlemen, the inquiring cameraman. And we're going to give ourselves a little pat on the back. Our first issue seems to have aroused all California. We've had lots of comments and suggestions, and we found out that some of the politicians don't like our idea at all. They seem to want you to hear only what they have to say, but we still think you're interested in how the man on the street is actually going to vote. We let him say anything he wants, we encourage him to talk freely, and we're trying to be as nonpartisan as possible. Now for the voters. I've decided to vote for the present Governor Marion. And as much as this is my first vote, it means quite a bit to me, and I've given it a good deal of thought and consideration. And I just graduated from school last year, and Sinclair says that our school system is rotten, and I know that this isn't true, and I've been able to find a good position during this depression, and I'd, I'd like to be able to keep it. Mrs. Ashley, will you tell us who you're going to vote for for governor, please? I'm going to vote for Upton Sinclair. Will you tell us a few of your reasons why? Well, in the first place, I think he is a splendid, conscientious, capable man, and has a program that he can do something for the people that are in distress now. <coughs> I, uh, I was born and reared a uh, Democrat, but uh, years later, I became a Republican and uh, then a Socialist. And uh, so, but when Mr. Sinclair declared himself candidate for governor of California, we went in to uh, help in that movement. Yes, I've decided to vote for the present governor, Frank Merriam. Would you give us a reason why? Yes, I will. In the first place, I don't think Mr. Merriam has been given an opportunity to prove what he can do for our state. In the second place, I don't wish to see Upton Sinclair elected governor. I personally have a position that I value. I've worked hard. It's a small firm. It's an independent firm. I don't wish the businessman, my employer, to be forced to do things he doesn't like and in turn force them upon us. And instead of being somebody in the firm, we'll just be individuals probably with a number. I don't wish to go to work every day just to work for food, for necessities of life, and that's all that's in it. I have other ambitions. I want to work hard. I'm looking forward to a future, a happy future, one which I personally can make for myself without being told what to do by other people. My choice for governor is Mr. Haight. Will you tell us why? Uh, I want Mr. Haight in the governor's chair because Mr. Haight is progressive. Mr. Haight is young. He has uh, new ideas. And I don't want Mr. Sinclair in the governor's chair. I have a little business here that I've worked many years to build up, hard, day and night. And I don't want the state to come in and take it away. I'm going to vote for Upton St. Clair. <laughs> Will you tell us why? Upton St. Clair is the author of the Russian government, and it worked out very well there, and I think it should do here. Thank you. I'm going to vote for Mr. Haight. Will you give us a few reasons why? Now, one of the reasons why I'm voting for Mr. Haight is because I'm not going to vote for Mr. St. Clair because he's a little too radical. Now, Mr. Merriam hasn't done a thing for us fellows who are out on the tramp. We can't help because we're on the tramp. And I'm going to vote for Mr. Haight because he Evidently in the middle ground. Oh, thanks. Governor Marion, have you any reasons why? Yes. I, uh, I feel that Sinclair is too radical. I'm, an Amer I'm born and raised in America. I feel that Mr. Marion is the only man in the field today that can beat Sinclair. You may ask me questions, sir. I will answer them. Mr. Branson, have you decided who you're going to vote for? Yes, sir, for Upton Sinclair. Have you any reasons why? Why, because I believe he's the best man for the job. I've always been a socialist, and I believe he'll do the best for the people, for the working, especially for the working people, and even for the rich. Thank you. First of all, I am American, and I believe Mr. Marion will support all the principles America has stood for in the past 150 years. I have a job now, and uh, I want to keep it. I get paid in money and not script. I am a married man. My wife and I love California, and we'd like to stay here. In case we should leave, why, I would like to at least have a couple dollars and not script. Yes, I'm going to vote for Mr. Captain Sinclair. Would you uh, tell us a few reasons why, please? because I believe in his policies. I've come from New York, and everything has gone very badly since I've been out here. And I've heard his talks over the radio, and I believe that he will give us a good deal. All right, now, Mr. Gilgan, have you decided who you're going to vote for, <coughs> for yes, Governor? Yes, sir. Who? Mr. Sinclair. Dr. Griffith, have you decided who you're going to vote for? Raymond L. Haight. All right, have you gentlemen any reasons? My reason for voting for Mr. Sinclair is 
First of all, our, gov our Democratic Party is staying with them. I am a Democrat, and I do not want to change my politics. I believe that the Republican Party so far has been a failure in the last 10 or 12 years. Have you anything to say to that, Dr. Griffith? You're wrong, because the Democratic Party is not with Sinclair, because the Democratic Party is not raising funds for Sinclair's election. The, de the money raised in different states is independent of the, of the Democratic Party, and you know that. Shall I say some more? <laughs> Sinclair, <coughs> Sinclair interviewed our... <laughs> Sinclair, Sinclair has interviewed our President of the United States yes. and has got a great reception. And when he, got, when he went to see him, he told him not to discuss politics because he knew that he would be put on the spot by Sinclair. And that's the ultimate object of Mr. Sinclair, is to put Mr. Roosevelt on the spot by the election of government. There's no such a thing as putting a man on the spot. That's the, that's the thoughts of your own mind. We're on the spot now. No, you're not. You're <laughs> wrong, Dr. Griffith. I disagree with you on that. I disagree with you. All right, proceed. I was Senator McAdoo was also with Sinclair. Senator McAdoo has billboarded the whole town and said that the epic plan is a failure. That's the words of Senator McAdoo. Well, where did you get that or when? On Central Avenue billboard, I've seen it this morning. You can see it for yourself. <laughs> I think that's a mistake, Doctor. I think that's a mistake. I think that's a mistake. And by the way, lots of you don't know that it doesn't matter how you're registered, Republican or Democrat, you can cast your vote on November 6th for any man or any party you want to.